Hello. Um, <clears throat> finishing toward working toward finishing up the first half of the poems, basically uh, that I've got so far written in the Anachronisms project that I've been working on for 21 years, posting for 18 of them as of last month onto a blog called Anachronisms, which is at Anachronisms with a ZMS, just the same spelling as the way that I spell Anachronisms, the title of the project, dot blogspot.com. This is uh, an anachronism that I posted on Monday, August the 29th, 2022, and it's, called, and it's number 3,705 in Roman numerals, as always, MMMPCCB. It is called Write Your Happy Meaning, in this case, I've been feeling not so very. Meaning, I am curious where this might take me. I can always change the title, should it not quite work out. But truth be told, I rarely, if ever do, change the title, that is. I most often begin with one. And sometimes, that's what this will be about. And sometimes it's so unrelated as to cause confusion, no doubt which I must apologetically and yet impishly admit that I enjoy. It's not that I mean to poo-poo editing so much, even though that's exactly what I used to do. So my apologies to Tim, to Steph, to Cassie, Jennifer, to Cynthia, Ron, and to all the rest of you fine folks who listen to me overwhelm the airwaves with my prolific piles of mostly unedited stacks of line after line of page after page as they made their way to you. Whether or not a word of it has been retained or the gist of my meanderings, Oh, they made their way to you. I know. And this is my happy, my positive, and my true. I so miss all of you. I do. I have seen not one of you, but Cassie, since the Great Divide. And that was thanks to Kevin's personal invitation to the reading at, at to her reading, you know. At, uh, it was Sally Cat. By the way, I've actually seen her, but nobody else, <laughs> even since then. On Christmas Day! last year, which was 2022, of all things. It was lovely, lovely, lovely Christmas and Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, I think. Another bookstore that has subsequently closed. I only saw Kevin once more after, the most, after that most lovely evening, sadly. But what's a poem intent on pleasure, happiness, and hedonism without Kevin? And on that note, there's David's Deli, still extant. But they serve those monumental blinces no more, which is depressing. Sure. But the memory of those cheese blinces. Learning to be so very alone is not so bad as all that, especially after so many years, because it's only temporary. Right? This is what I tell the echoes rattling around in my head, at least. And I have plans to bring that to fruition. Plans to murder this hermetic era. And I will. Such fantastic plans they are. And what exactly is alone, anyway? I mean, these days, that notion isn't quite so precise a description of the me I am, unless we're talking physically, of course. And even that can be debated. Think, for example, how many people that fit, that live inside this fair building. I have nearly four years called my home, I suppose. And while it's true that I so rarely hear from any one year from either of you, but sometimes, thankfully, just nothing with such regularity as when we held our swabs, how so often we'd have them. There are sometimes I wonder how on earth we managed. But wow, what frequency we'd meet and read, we'd eat and read, whatever we had with us at the time. We all go to read whatever was read. It was nourishment for me, for body, for soul, for all of my senses. And should our less alternative lives have dumbed us down the days previous? Well, I recall the energy most of all that would, while in each other's company, course through me like some sort of electricity. Oh, how you must have each grown so incredibly weary of my incessant voice. But in that sharing, what's sustenance? I, of course, knew this, or would not have been such catalyst 
implementing them to begin with. It was not my first foray in such salons, such engaging, engaging feasts of regularity, but as the years of solitude wear on, existing in this cocoon in which I linger even longer, one thing that gives me pause is how I took such bliss for granted. But rather than be bittersweet in the least, I let the moments specific and in general from those days take me over, feel me presently with that same bliss. As often as I write, making utility of the past, have much less nostalgia, to which it must surely seem to anyone who pays attention to these lines than I, in actuality, cling. If you could believe this, my most powerful belief is, is this. Now is the only time to live, to live for. So since these days, as always, it's living that I'm striving for, as difficult as it may in particular presently be, and also, as I so emphatically started off these lines with such a simple and intentional plea, to write my happy, as it were, knowing full well how much I've dwelt of late upon such melancholic guff, which is important stuff as well. The words that have spilled directly from my elevated and hopeful experiment have in truth accomplished just exactly what I set out from that moment to do, and yet it feels to me as if I might should take this fair demand a bit further into action. How hard would it in this reality be to find yet one more small group, a set of individuals who could, on some occasion, come to sit together with our individual pages filled with our own words, we write, like these of mine, and share them each with the others, one and all. Indeed, this might at first seem like such a heavy task, at least to me, at least right now, but all I have to do is look to the perfection of so many moments past to know how much of an impossibility it could not at all be. A new group with whom to engage, a new set of fine folks with whom to continue this, my education, with whom to enact earnest camaraderie, and with whom as a group and as individuals to find that thing called friendship, fleeting as it may, like all else in life, be. How about tomorrow, then? I get right to it. Come up with a plan, and figure out how to mix and mingle once again. It won't take much to hit upon an imperfect view, with which soon I can be swapping poems with some regularity, and, and soon, I think I will. Indeed, I, I will get right to it. It thrills me just to think about this now, and of even the somewhat deliberate process of bringing such a group to fruition, which isn't done alone, of course. Um, 